and welcome to this edition of Thank You Notes with Dana Taylor from Veterans Home Care, a complete and utter copycat and knockoff version of the much funnier version of Jimmy Fallon's Thank You Notes from The Tonight Show. I bring you this episode from my car. This has now become my office, but it always was my office, but it has really become my office now since my children are located in my home. Nonetheless, I have a lot to be thankful for, and I'd like to write some cards. Here's a little bit of music to get us in the mood. Thank you, coronavirus, for jumbling up and clearing my calendar all at once. Now, Tuesday can become Thursday, and Monday can be the new Friday, and I would never know. Thank you, coronavirus, for my new hairstyle, shag, very reminiscent of the living room carpet from my childhood home. The only thing that's missing is the odd olive or avocado color which is yet possible. Thank you, coronavirus, for bestowing upon me a free teaching degree. Not only am I now my children's housekeeper, maid, chef, personal secretary, Uber driver, but now I'm also their teacher. All three of them, however, have requested subs. Apparently, sixth grade math is not my thing. <laughs> Thank you, coronavirus, for being responsible for the new directional signs I find at my grocery store. Brilliant! Prior to this, I had no idea which end of the aisle to enter, and upon encountering another cart, no idea which one should move over for the other. Now I know. Thank you, coronavirus, for this season's newest fashion trend, the surgical mask. One size truly fits all, unlike stretch pants that says one size fits all, but I'm finding out is definitely not the case. Here's mine. As you can all see, my children, otherwise known as my students, have shown me what they think of me. Thank you, coronavirus, for the introduction of Zoom and Microsoft Teams, the hottest thing since email. Thanks to these two platforms, I have been privy to some screens and some interesting sites and things that make me go, hmm, as well as I have provided these to others. Case in point, when my two teenage daughters entered my office, unwelcome of course, needing settlement of their latest dispute, who ate all the Teddy Grahams? It's yet to be solved, as is who ate all the ice cream. The crime around here. Last and certainly not least, thank you, you, who's getting this message. You're receiving this message because you are part of the Veterans Home Care team. At VHC, every part of our team is important. We cherish, love, and appreciate each member, and that includes you. We need you to know we miss you, we are thinking of you, and we can't wait to see you again. But as always, we are here and will continue to be so. See you soon.